gardening is a virtue and it should be known publicly. It should be celebrated like anything else within American culture. I believe that. That's honestly what I believe. Co host, take the show, baby. Hello, everyone. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who arrived and helped out. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your participation. And more than anything, we appreciate that you appreciate what vegetables and gardening does for us. It begins. I know what plants I like to eat and better what I like to cook. With that, I start by researching, using websites and even a book. I found it all a bit overwhelming, even with the vegetable planning guide. <laughs> Still needed to learn about spacing, depth, and how much water to provide. To push those worries aside, Black Lives Veggies is here to help us learn how to plant, grow, harvest with a sustainable plant design. Organic and reusable resources for a zero waste garden. A zero waste garden. Please welcome Nico Graham to help us talk about a sustainable garden. Uh, I'm Nico Graham. I'm with Food is Free Austin. We've been doing that since back in 2012 when we started our first uh, front yard garden made out of pallets. Recycled uh, political signs with the inner layers. We offered it throughout the uh, neighborhood. And after a while, after seeing veggies grow, people started wanting one too. Uh, after a while, we created over 300 gardens around town, school systems and other places. Uh, we do potlucks to bring the community together. We purpose uh, materials using pallets to build uh, all kinds of structures like bathhouses and other garden beds, uh, lime creek, hemp creek, anything that happens to be something that somebody knows, they can teach a class themselves. Uh, because of that, I branched out. I took my permaculture design courses and became a certified instructor. I try to teach all the time, but I'm also learning as I go. I create ponds, uh, rainwater runoffs, uh, design solar setups, tell clients during consultations how they should create the perfect paradise for them. Place some seeds for my sweet Georgia collard greens. Pebbles dark to reddish brown like garnets going into the ground. I top the seedling cups with soil, soak then put them up. Next is germination where the sprouting will begin. And when my sprouts are half a foot, I prep where they'll be put, then transplantation to where they'll mature until harvest. When I can act a fool, I know they're ready to be food. <laughs> and now to talk to us about the fun of gardening, please welcome Danielle Bailey. I'm going to try to compete with the traffic, the planes, and everything else going around, so just let me know if you didn't catch anything. Um, yeah, uh, my alias online is Danielle Basil, so I guess that's kind of who I've turned into now in the gardening community. And um, I just have so much passion for gardening, and I'm really appreciative of the opportunity to speak to you guys. And if you're a hobby gardener like me, you want this to be a fun activity because you're already doing another job at your work. So it's important to make sure that you keep things light in the garden and that you're doing activities that you truly enjoy. As the roots are reaching down, the stem and leaves reach up and around. All of it plays a part in seeking nutrients. From the soil below, while the sun helps make sugar and oxygen, what someone to do to make sure a plant is healthy and strong? What are you to do? What is someone to do to make sure that the plant isn't destroyed as they're grown. While preparing for seasons, changing as maturity begins, looking for evidence of something wrong, that'll affect the harvest. There's so much to know as your vegetables grow about how to protect them from pests, and yeah, you. <laughs> Though you mean well know that for them to grow, you'll have to watch for rock, wilt, and bug chews. <laughs> quality produce makes quality food. Now to talk to us about mycology, aka fungus for, you know, the non-scientists. <laughs> we have... Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> <laughs> we have Ali and Sean. From the Central Texas Mycological Society. Uh, we were founded in 2019, so we're fairly new still and the, the pandemic put a little damper in some of our plans, but we're coming back now, if y'all notice. We have more events on the calendar. Um, yeah. Um, 
Hi, I'm Sean M. Um, I got into mycology just during the pandemic as a hobby and then connected with these wonderful people at Central Texas Mycological Society. I've been volunteering with you all for about three months now and I'm here to talk about mushrooms with you guys. Woo! So who, who likes eating mushrooms? The, the edible, non-psychedelic kind? <laughs> 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 I got one! I got one! <laughs> I like them. Okay, I, it's, we're definitely in the middle of a shroom boom, if y'all have noticed. Like, a lot more people are talking about fungi. There was that huge documentary that came out that made it onto Netflix, uh, Fantastic Fungi. Um, that helped our organization grow, even uh, try to grow mushrooms or utilize what I'm about to show you in your gardens. Some people, yeah, and some people say it tastes like oysters. I don't know. I haven't eaten much, many oysters, actually, so I don't really know. <laughs> Um, so this is what it like growing gourmet mushrooms looks like on a commercial scale or any scale honestly you, people do this in their homes up to commercial scale um, for gourmet mushrooms um, button mushrooms the majority of the mushrooms you see in the grocery stores um, those are grown differently than this um, so this is called a unicorn bag it's just a plastic bag with a filter on it um, and what's inside the bag is uh, nutrified sawdust so like we had cotton meal and other things inside the bag to give the mycelium nutrients to grow um, so these are from a local farm in Central Texas you can pick these up for free you can buy them online but you can also pick them up for free so that's why part of why we are here today is show you what you can you do with like what's in our waste stream and continue to make food out of it and get it out of the waste stream of time, energy, and resources used, now you'll get to successfully reap the rewards. Once you prune your leaves and stalks, you'll have up to three months that you can continue to harvest what you've grown over and over. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Whether it's for you, family, or a community, you'll save money, help the earth, and now, because you know more, harvest time, harvest time will help you sow and grow. So my name is Larry Franklin, and um, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. But I believe that this journey could not be complete or even come to a checking point without such thing like this right here. Community. Many different people from many different backgrounds, walks of life different experiences, skills, and interests. For a second, let's all just pick up some of these rocks right here. Everybody, please, pick up some of these rocks. There's not one in your hand, right? There's not two or three, there's many. And that's the definition of community. It's us coming together, not one shape, not one size, not one weight, but collectively, just as these rocks sustain us, and allow us to walk on it safely and, um, and comfortably together. When we come together, actually, that's safety, comfort, that's community. Checking point, I wanna thank everybody. Thank you everybody so much for coming out. So much, all this energy is definitely needed. And all of you are so important and we're so thankful for you, Black Lives Matter. Thank y'all. Snap. You gotta understand. You will flower, baby. You gonna grow. You gotta understand the lessons they they gonna show. You will flower, baby. You gonna grow. It's already planted. It's already rooted. It's inside of you. And it's already planted. It's already rooted. It's inside of you. You a flower, baby. You gonna grow. Cause the lessons they they on the show. With the lessons come the seasons. With the change, it's for a reason. Y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> you a part of every season. Cause you a flower, baby. You gonna grow. And the lessons they they on the show. <laughs> you are ready to plant. You are ready to grow. And it's inside of you. Great. Nice. Thank y'all so much.